Hey guys, today I have a Kenmore HE Series 500 washer and electric dryer matching set. Right now I've got the washer hooked up. We've set it on deep wash, kind of turned some of the extra little features off there. Um, cool lights, which is like a warm, kind of a, just below a warm setting. We've got quite a few different settings on here. We're going to do one rinse and it's filled up pretty heavy jeans, towels, jacket, um, that kind of load. Fill just to about the top where you'd want to fill it up to. It's going through the process of sensing right now. In a minute, it's going to start to spin that and add some water. And then it'll go ahead and fill up and do its agitation. And I'm going to show you along the way as it moves through the cycles here that everything on it's working perfect. Then when it's all done, we'll take the clothes out, put them in the dryer, and I'll show you that the dryer is working perfect. So we'll allow this to go ahead and fill up here in just a sec. And we'll come back when it's full. Here we go, get started adding that water in. And this is actually the fourth load I've put through here. Let's go through and check all the dials, make sure they all work. And uh, I will typically do deep wash, heavy duty, and then either the drain and spin or the express if it's got it. Just to make sure that across the dial here, we're getting everything working. So pulling in that water, we'll come back when it's full. All right, now we're, we keep stopping to add a little bit more to water, but I think it's done. And how this works is it's kind of the idea of like a front load washer, except turned vertical. And so how that works is this agitation plate moves along the bottom, forcing the clothes up the middle, out back along the sides, down, and it just does this vortexing cycle. So the clothes are not only agitating along the bottom plate, but they're agitating amongst themselves back down into the water. If you think about a front load washer, that's how those work. They tumble on themselves, the clothes do, in the soapy water. And that's how the agitation works on a machine like this, giving you more space in the middle without that agitator being there. So it's doing an excellent job mixing these clothes up. Now, typically you wouldn't even be able to see this because your lid would be locked here, but I've got just an additional striker piece here that I can plug in and that way we can see the machine in operation. You can kind of see what's going on and all that. So, um, yep, it's doing its work there. We'll let it go ahead and move through the wash cycle and we'll come back as it drains that water up. All right, we're coming out of that wash cycle now. Just draining that water out nice and fast. You can hear it draining there. Now what it'll do from here is it's gonna spin out and extract the soapy water, fill back up with rinse water, agitate, drain, and then we'll be on to the high speed final spin cycle, which I'll come back for next and show you that it is nice, fast, smooth, and sounds great. So here's that first rinse spin that I was talking about. Get extracting the soapy water out of the clothes. Even that one, nice, fast, and smooth. All right, we're moving out of the rinse cycle now into the spin cycle. Just draining the water out. You hear it draining there nice and fast. Just kicked over to the spin mode. So from here, what I'll do is I'll allow it to get up to full speed on that spin cycle, and I'll come back and show you that. And just once again, we're locked out here, and the only reason I can open this is because of my little extra striker there. Otherwise, this would be locked. And those lights are not flashing in real life. For whatever reason, the LEDs show up flashing in the video, but they're not, they're actually solid. So it's gonna kinda self-balance and get sorted out here. All right, this is its second time spinning. And sometimes, depending on how heavy the load is and what options you choose, it can spin up to three times if it needs to, to max extract the water out of the clothes. But here we are, I believe it's only gonna spin is two times here. Once it reaches a certain RPM, that's how it knows it's spun enough. And the more it spins, the lighter those clothes get, the faster it goes. But we're spinning super fast now, especially that really heavy load. So I think two's gonna get it. And as you can see, nice, fast, smooth operation. Sounds great. So I'm gonna let that finish up and pull the dryer over here and go ahead and plug it in and we will show off the dryer next. Okay, we've got the clothes cleaned out of the 
washer. You see, nice huge capacity on that one there. It's good to go. Come over here to the electric dryer. Got all those clothes piled in there. They're nice and spun super light. Close that up. Come up here. I'm just gonna hit it time dry, high heat. Wrinkle guard is off and what this wrinkle guard, if you've never heard of that before, on the automatic dry right here, once it gets up into the wrinkle guard section, it's gonna cycle on and off up to 40 minutes. So five minutes on, five minutes off, or it's 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, I'm not really sure. But uh, it'll go on like that for 40 minutes, allowing you extra time to get back and fold those for the wrinkle set in. So it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna let that run for a minute and show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. You can see in here, sounds great. Nice smooth operation. And then with my temperature gun, right in between those two red dots, it takes a surface temperature measurement. So it's 77 on top of the dryer. It's 60 on the concrete floor, so colder down there. Now, when I open this here, you'll be able to see everything's tumbling. And the heat comes out of that little vent right there, kind of concentrated there from the vent. That in turn will heat the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about uh, 95 all the way up to 195. Just depends on how long it's been running, what you have the heat set to, but the little grate right here gets pretty hot. That way you know it's actually uh, heating like it's supposed to. Air circulates with the clothes, goes out right there, which is where the lint trap on top catches the lint, and then down out the back of your dryer. So you, likewise, you wanna make sure that this is clean and cleared out before each load. That way you have sufficient airflow and no blockages or anything like that. All of that contributes to a very fast drying time, especially when the washer goes through and spins those clothes out that fast. It's part of the high efficiency, the HE designation. So we'll let those go ahead and finish up. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks. You guys have a great day.